Welcome to another coding tutorial and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this generative piece using Bezier Curve and Perlin Noise. I made a video on Perlin Noise. What is Perlin Noise? How is it generated? And the details of the noise function within P5.js. So if you want to learn more about noise in general, be sure to check that out. In today's tutorial, we'll be going through the 1D noise map using the noise function. Unlike the random function, the noise function actually gives us a more organic and lifelike random pattern. The noise function can take up to three arguments, but we're working with the 1D noise map, so we're only going to put in one argument. So first, let's declare a variable. I'm going to call it n, and then n is going to be equals to noise. And then I'm going to give an argument. Let's do zero. How about we print out this number? And you can see that this value stays the same. So actually how a noise function works is that a noise map is generated once when we run the program. At a point in time or the value that you put as an argument, it's going to output what that value is at the point zero. So if you provide the same value over and over again, the output is going to be the same, right? So what we need to do is that let's say we have an offset that starts at zero. And then we put this variable here. And then what we want to do is that we want to increment the offset. Let's do it by 0 0.01. And then now you can see that the outputs are all different and they're close to each other, right? And that also depends on what is the offset increment that we put in? The smaller the offset, the closer the values between each one of these. So let's do one. And you see that the values are a lot different. So now we're going to draw a Bezier curve. And a Bezier curve takes in a total of eight arguments, four points, four anchor points that creates the curve, right? So what if we create a total of eight arguments, x1, y1, two, three, and four. And instead of n, we want to set all of these eight variables to be equals to a noise map. It is a little bit tedious, and you can find a better way to do this, but I'm only going to copy and paste this. Also, the noise function outputs a value between 0 and 1. So we want to also map the values that are outputting here to for x, it's going to be the width, and then for y, it's going to be the height. So we can just multiply this by width. and then the y value by height. And we call the Bezier curve by putting in all of these values, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, and x4, y4. And let's see how it looks. And then we also want to comment out the background. And you can see that these are just points. And why does this happen? Remember when we talk about the noise function, there's only one map at one run of the program, meaning that now we have the same offset that starts at zero and increment at one, and then we multiply it by width and height, which right now is the same at, at 400 and 400. We're basically just plotting eight of the same points. So what we need to do is that instead of starting the offset at zero for all the eight points, we need to change it by slightly. So let's try it by five for each one of these. Wow, and it's super random because we have an offset of one. So what if we do 0 0.01 here? That looks better. And then what if we do no fill? 
second, we can make the stroke weight to be 0.5. You can play around, but this one looks pretty cool already, and I basically just put a really random offset values here and the offset increment at 0 0.01. But, you know, let's say you change the offset to be even smaller, you can see that the change in the movement is much smaller now, whereas if we do 0 0.1, it's a lot more sporadic. So you can play around, but this is just to show you that we can use a 1D noise map to pick out values that are close to each other to create a more generative-like pattern like this one. Give it a try.